Sabres have told us to lose or not try at all. But they can figure it out for themselves when they look at the guys playing next to them. But is that not a question you'd like answered as a fan, if you're a Sabres fan, or if you're, or if you're, or just as an observer, would you not like to know? Like, if, listen, if, if Mike Weber said that, hey, we know why we're here, we get it, we know what the organization's doing, the team's doing, we know what we're supposed to do, it just sucks. Questions to ask. I'm sure he's funny, though. Time for the top five things you need to know today, brought to you by Brady and Walker. Listen and watch starting Monday from 1 to 4 on Sportsnet 590, the fan and Sportsnet 360. Uh, number five, last night in the NHL. He slides it off for Gage. Right. Into the lead. So he was boiled earlier in the game, not this time, and in overtime, Arizona wins it. <laughs> yeah, that was in Buffalo, by the way. That's what we heard earlier. Arizona beating Buffalo in the McDavid Bowl. Sabres fans loving it. Else, elsewhere, uh, Andrew Hammond, the Ham Burglar. I don't like saying that. I'm just going to call him Andrew Hammond. Uh, he was pulled as New York hammered Ottawa 5 1. Winnipeg 1 5 2 over Montreal. Kings won yet again as they do this every year. 3 2 over the Oilers. Uh, more NHL action tonight. Stars are on 9 30 on Sportsnet 1. The OHL playoffs uh, kick off as well on Sportsnet. Peterborough, Oshawa, 7 30 on Sportsnet. Number 4. Raptors look to snap their two game losing streak tonight against the LA Lakers. Tip off at uh, 7 30. That should, should, should be a win, you'd think. Uh, you'd hope. <laughs> Uh, March Madness number three. We'll be in here, Dean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Sweet 16 action last night. All the favorites moved on. Notre Dame, Wisconsin, Kentucky, and Arizona head to the Elite Eight. Tonight, UCLA, Gonzaga, NC State versus Louisville, Duke, and Utah, and Michigan State. Third off against Oklahoma. Doug Gottlieb joins us next to discuss from CBS Sports. Number two, Jays beat the Phillies 4-1 yesterday. Aaron Sanchez was great again. Uh, gave up one run on two uh, hits in five innings earlier in the day. Steve Delabar sent down. He doesn't sound too pleased about it. I'm really not happy right now. I, I didn't think that I would have to be a reserve player or a guy that, that was going to have to come in place for somebody that's not getting the job done. I thought it 